Hello, what's going on guys? This is Roman Brinchin and welcome to my channel. This is my first video and also a first video on an HTML tutorial series. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it is basically a language in which you build websites. So this tutorial will consist of 10 lessons and after each lesson I will assign you a homework to practice on your own. So to make it easier for you, I have uploaded my source code and lesson plans on my GitHub account. So I'll give you the link to my GitHub account in the description below. I would also like you to visit my blog and read some of the blogs because I pen down my thoughts and opinions on my blog and I think it will be fun to read. So now let's go get on with HTML. Before we start to code, we have to download something called a text editor. A text editor is basically a platform where you can code. So there are a lot of text editors but I prefer Notepad++. So how you download Notepad++ is go to a browser and then search Notepad++ download and then click on the first link and the latest version and then click download. I have it already downloaded so I don't have to download it again. After you have downloaded Notepad, open Notepad++. So you will look somewhat like this. Now you have to create a new file for you to code in. So how you do that is click on the file menu and click on new. So now you have a new file and but you have to save it as an HTML file. So how you do that is click on file and click on save as. So Type of file you have saved as alt text, so because alt text, so it can read the .html above. So I'll save it as vid1.html. Now you have an HTML file. So before we start to code, we have to tell the browser. Wait, I did not tell you this. So. When you f finish coding, you have to launch it on the browser. So you have to tell the browser that this is an HTML file, so that browser can so the browser can read the code as well. So how you do that is by using the tag talk types. How you, first you have to use you do you have to type the exclamation mark, then type doc type, and then HTML, which means document type is HTML. So now you are ready to code. So the first tag you will have to use is HTML. In HTML, when you end a tag, you have to use something called an end tag. So how you do that is you can you can use the same tag, but you have to use a slash in front of it, which means that you have to close the tag now. So now you do all the coding between this HTML. So the first the first tag you have to use it in between HTML between the HTML tags are a head. You have to make a head. So the head contains the title of your website. So you can create whatever title you want. So I'll give uh, I'll my title will be my website. So yeah, my website. Then after the head is created, you have to create a body of your website which literally contains every segment of your web page. For example, the color, the font size, the font family and everything. So it contains everything. So let's end the body. No, end the body. Yeah, we have ended the body. Now if you visit any web page or web pages or websites, you will find a topic in the top on the header. Like the big thing, right? So how you do that in HTML is by using the header file, header tag, which is h, and then in HTML there's h1 to h6. So h1 is the largest and h6 is the smallest. So we obviously want a small, I mean a big one. So let's use h1 and then close it. So we can say my website, right? Yeah. So now you have created your heading. Now. If you visit the website, you only see the heading and you won't see anything below. It's dry, so you need to write a paragraph. So you use the tag P. So then it's end P, and then in between those, let's say, hello, this is enjoy. Haha, <laughs> so that will be my paragraph. 
So now you've got a title, you've got a header, and also you have a paragraph. So let's see how it, how did it go. So let's the how now how you run it is click on the file menu, then save it first. So then save it, and then click on run, and then launch it, launch it in any browser. So I launch it in Chrome. Now we have our heading, my website, and also we have our paragraph. So our coding worked. So today we learned about HTML. We I introduced to you what HTML is, and then we learned what an, what a text editor is. We downloaded a text editor and we started to code, and we also learned how to code a, a header and also a paragraph. Great. So now that's all for today, and the homework for today is. Um, build your own website with a header as your name and introduce yourself in a paragraph. So you don't have to submit to me, but you can practice on your own. So I hope you enjoyed my lesson and I will see you in the next tutorial.